Hey, 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 today's tutorial is going to be all about how to do this gorgeous bridal hairstyle. There's going to be braids, a really beautiful bun. It's just a really overall gorgeous look, and I'm excited to teach you how to do it. Um, I just want to say if you are watching this for your wedding, congratulations. How exciting. And if you're watching this just for, you know, maybe an upcoming event that you have, then you can totally pull off this hairstyle for that as well. So the first thing that I'm doing here is I'm just adding in my cashmere hair extension. You can get them in all different lengths, however the ones that I'm wearing in this video are 20 inches and they're in the shade Pale Ash Blonde. So as you can see I put in the three larger wefts and then I'm also putting on two side pieces, so one on each side. And doing this really just allows me to have nice thick braids and also a bun with some volume to it because my hair on its own I could definitely not achieve this hairstyle um, just because it would be too thin. So now that I've got my extensions in, let's go ahead and get started with the rest of the tutorial. So here I'll be dividing my hair into three sections. I'm going to leave quite a bit out on my front two sections because that's where I'm going to be putting in these braids and then the back section is going to be all the rest of my hair which we're going to put into a ponytail and then wrap into a bun. is bridal I'm just going to take this comb and smooth out any flyaways any bumps that I'm seeing to really just give it a smooth elegant appearance so now I am taking a clear elastic and I found that it worked best with the clear elastic for this part because it allowed me to twist the bun better than just a regular hair tie so I tie my hair into a ponytail first and then I'm just going to kind of pull at it and just give it a little bit of volume make sure it's nice and rounded and then I'm going to be twisting that ponytail in one direction slowly kind of just pulling it apart volumizing it because I don't want it to be like a really tight twist because I am trying to get this bun as big as possible so I just kind of go over it with a little bit of a texture spray I just find that it gives it a little bit more grip you can also use a hairspray to do that and then once you've done that part you're just gonna start wrapping it around itself to form the bun Now is where you're going to use your thicker elastic because it'll really help the bun to stay in all day long. And then I wanted you guys to catch this part here. So as you can see, I pull it up and I lift it up and I place the bobby pin in there. So that way you can see the full bun. It's not hanging down at all um, and it looks really beautiful. This next step is really vital. I feel like it totally makes the bun just like come alive. So this took me a few minutes off of camera, but I wanted to show you guys here. So I am pulling at this bun and I did it piece by piece. So that way it gives it a very PC yet still elegant look. And it just really made it just all come together. I just absolutely loved how it turned out. So you're gonna do that and then now we're gonna start the braids. So you're gonna want to keep a little bit of hair down that's gonna cover your ears and I really just feel like that just allows for a more elegant hairstyle especially for bridal. If you take the hair you know and place it all into the braid and don't leave any to cover your ears. I just feel like personally it looked a little bit off. So I am choosing to keep a few pieces out for my bangs as well which is just gonna frame the face and just give it a very soft appearance so all I'm doing for the braid here is I'm just separating into three pieces and then as I go I continually add into the braid and one thing that's really crucial for this is I kept looking into the mirror making sure you know that it's looking correct from the front but also when I pull the braid towards the back that there's not going to be any weird bumps anything like that so just kind of keeping an eye on the mirror just really helped with that um, and then the next thing I do here is just add some more texture spray. It, like I said, I guess it just gives the braid some more grips so that once you start pulling pieces out and really um, making this braid super big and just very full looking, it's not going to all slip out on you. That texture spray is really going to help with that. So to pancake the braid, you basically just pull at the braid from the outside edges very softly, very gently. If you overdo it, you can fix it. You just kind of push it back into itself. Um, and as you can see here, again, I'm pulling the braid continuously back, making sure there's no weird bumps, all that good stuff. And then once I have it to where I like it, I will tie it off with a clear elastic and then I'll show you the next step. Alright, 
time to do the exact same thing on the other side. Again, just leaving out some pieces to frame your face and then as well to cover your ears. And we're just gonna do that braid all the way down, continuing adding in pieces and make it very volumized. And then we'll start the wrapping. That we have both of our side pieces braided and looking super voluminous we are going to tie those around to the back so it doesn't really matter what braid you want to start with first um, but basically you're just going to take one braid at a time wrap it over top of the bun and that's really going to allow you to see all of the braided detail on the bun and then you'll just wrap it around towards the bottom tuck in any excess you know hair with a bobby pin and you'll just do that right underneath of the bun So the very last steps that we're going to do is I am just going to finish up those tucking in those braids and then I'm going to go through and just pull a little bit of pieces out. Now if you're wanting more of a traditional look, you could keep the pieces in. If you're wanting more of a boho type of a vibe, you can take even more out than I did. And then the very last finishing step, and this is totally optional, but I think it's super pretty. Is just adding in these rhinestones to the braid and really just accentuating that detail there. Now you could do like, you know, little flowers, you could do bigger rhinestones, you could do all sorts of things, but I just really felt like for a bridal look, this really added that extra special touch. So I hope that you guys love this tutorial and we will see you in the next one.